If a child refuses to take a nap, are they guilty of resisting arrest? The ammunition and equipment you see featured in today's episode of The Quiet Rifle came to me courtesy of Herman Sporting Guns and Air Rifle Slugs Australia. Herman's were nice enough to send me some slug liners so that I can test these heavier slugs out and make these videos for you. So if you do like what you see, make sure you skip on over to Herman Sporting Guns website. There'll be a link in the description. They stock all things FX, lots of different accessories from lots of different manufacturers, full-size firearms, pistols, and a wide range of optics and accessories. So make sure you check them out. Air Rifle Slugs Australia has a huge range of slugs and a huge range of calibers, and they're also carrying element optics, patchworm cleaning kits, craft and lift, all the good stuff that you really want in your safe at home. They also have a 10% discount going on at the moment for items marked with this little hashtag as you see here. The Zans have got it, nothing on the Patriots yet, uh, but H&N, RAB, NSA, all of these other slugs down here, they've all got it. And if you pick five items and add them to your cart, it doesn't have to be the same five items, but it could also be the same five items if you want. You can buy five boxes of the same slug or five different boxes of slugs, add it to your cart, and you'll get automatically a 10% discount on your items. As you can see here, we've got five packs of 22 cal slugs and it's given us 10% off. So if you are liking what you see in these videos and you do want to get your hands on some awesome slugs, go to airrifleslugsaustralia.com. Lastly, if you live a little further away than Brisbane, because that's where Air Rifle Slugs is, jump on SJ's Trading Co and have a look at the Element Optic scopes. They've got awesome little helix, one of my favorite scopes. Find yourself a dealer near you and have one of these fine establishments send you one. Welcome back. Today we've got another ammunition analysis for you. We are going to be taking a look at Nielsen Specialty Ammo, uh, 26.8 grain, 25 caliber slugs. Nielsen Specialty Ammo, in my mind, is the godfather of all these different slug manufacturers. I don't know who was really first. NSA is the first company that I ever heard of, and I think casting the mind back, H&N had a couple of pellet-like slugs and even the grizzlies which have been around for a long time. There was obviously all the rat sniper slugs as well, Michael Hossack's wizardry which are excellent that are now the uh, the FX hybrids but from from what I can remember NSA has been around since Moses was playing for Cronulla. It's been a long time, they've had a long time to refine their product, they've had a long time to refine the way that they deliver it, build out their machines the way that they want and they make really really good ammo that is surprisingly cheap. It's on the lower end of the spectrum. It's easy to get in Australia now, thanks to Air Rifle Slugs Australia. They, they basically have a caliber and weight for pretty much every application, uh, and they're all very reasonably priced. So I'm, I'm excited about uh, having NSA in the country. I have done one review, I think, on the 22 caliber ones, but we're talking 25s today. And uh, I was very impressed and I really enjoyed shooting these. So here we go. 26.8 grain, 25 caliber model. It is a hollow point dish base. So big hollow point in the front, weird little dish base in the back. And uh, they run a BC of 0 0.088, uh, which is pretty good. It's not earth shatteringly good, but it's pretty good. They perform really well. Uh, especially when you compare them to uh, a bunch of other slugs that aren't really that well designed or well refined and just light years ahead of, of pellets. I weighed out a sample of 50 of them and we got four of them at 26.8, 21 of them at 26.7 and 25 of them at 26.6. The 26.8 uh, grain weight tag on them according to my scale is uh, a little tiny bit off uh, most of them were 26.7 and 26.6, but that could also be error in my scale. My scale's a $20 scale, and the scale that NSA uses to produce them is probably a $20,000 scale. Let's not put too much stock in that, but let's look at the spread, because uh, we've got 21 plus 25, so 46 out of 50 within 0.1 of a grain, and uh, then you've got your, your other four outliers that are a little bit heavier, but... Um, for the vast majority, like the, the entirety of them are all 0.1 grain high or low, which is exceptional. Um, that's almost as good as the Zans were. Uh, the Zans were probably the most consistent I've ever tested. 
and they there was only one of them that was out which is basically unheard of for paying the amount that you pay for these nsa slugs it's it's ridiculously good because they they really do fall on the uh the lower end of the price chart so let's talk about the price 39.95 for 325 of them which works out to be 12.2 cents per shot so that puts them in the blue which is really good that's what you want to see if you want if you're looking for like a no nonsense low cost slug NSA is going to have something for you so yeah I'm very excited about the price they're cheaper than Zan they're cheaper than the H&N they're cheaper than the JSB of all around that same weight yeah they just they, they make a very good very affordable slug when i tune my gun up for them uh we're running them at a thousand feet per second i did have some troubles with one of the other 25 cal slugs was a little bit tricky to uh to get it to shoot quickly it might have been the zans the big heavy zans they did end up shooting well as well this was very easy to tune for because my gun uh is very happy with this weight of slug especially in 25 it took all of about five minutes to tune the gun uh, and I, I tuned it Bang on a thousand feet per second. It's 165 bar reg pressure with the standard 25 caliber superior liner, not the heavy liner, just the normal one. And they are just rocketing out the barrel. Got reasonably good air economy as well. I got, uh, I think I was getting about two magazines per fill. Um, and that's pretty good considering the reg pressure was at 165. So there's not that much room to play with when you're coming down from 250 to land at 165. But I didn't have to use that much hammer spring. And because I was able to avoid that uh, bouncy bit at the, the, the higher end of the power chart and wind it back, this gun uh, will, will actually shoot these slugs well over a thousand feet per second if I want it to, but it's not consistent but I was easily able to just dial it back a smidgey and put it back into its sweet spot. And it was perfectly happy to shoot these at between a thousand and a thousand five feet per second all day long, no worries. So good consistent tune on that one. Speaking of the rig I'm running today, uh, KLS two stock at the back, pellet probe. This is a uh, Vladan Pellon probe. He's, uh, he sent me this when he sent me the uh, power plenum, which is one of his as well. Uh, and the, the pellet probe, has this little bit in here which is scalloped out a little bit so the air flows a little bit better it still pushes your your round into the chamber quite nicely but um, there's just a lot more room for the air to flow through it rather than having to come up through the hole and then forwards out the end so um, it gives you a couple of extra feet per second the plenum uh, it's a titanium plenum and between the two it's between 70 and 75 i can't remember how big it is but i remember it being 70 75 ish uh, which is plenty of uh, plenty of plenum for a, a lightweight round like this. Also running the Craffert and Lift range extender, 150 MOA of elevation. My beautiful Arca Swiss K&L rail extension with a little T-bar Picatinny rail, Vipertech bipod, Element scope, Xtec rings, premium stuff. With all of those upgrades and, and niceties on there, um, with with around, uh, in 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 my opinion, with with anything sort of up to about 27 grains um, you get away with very minimal power mods so it's nice to know that you can get a slug that uh, puts down this much power uh, without having to do too many upgrades packaging and condition um, they come in a box a cardboard box and you get 325 of them it's nice because um, if you want to do a real thorough test if you buy something like the javelins or the zans you're probably going to have to buy like two boxes to get um, enough to do it but uh, being that you get so many of these when you buy them um, the way that they're sold like this, you have more than enough to, to tune your gun, to go down and do some accuracy testing, to be unhappy with it, to come back, to tune it again, and then go back down, do more accuracy testing. It's like, it's a really good way. Like you can get the little sample packs uh, if your gun isn't tunable and you don't need that many. But if you really want to work on a fine tune and really test them out to see how they go, it's nice to get you know, 300 to 400 of them in, in one pack. And at such a cheap price, you know, why not? Inside that cardboard box, they're delivered in this here little uh, questionable substance baggie, and they're delivered in reasonably good condition. They're not um, eye-wateringly beautiful, but they are all in, in, you know, good nick. There's no serious deformations or anything. There's a few little nibbles on the bearing surface and a little bump and a bruise here and there that you get from uh, slugs not being stored individually like the FX slugs and the Zan slugs they're all individually stored so they're delivered in better condition um, but these are sort of pre-lubed um, so there's a little bit of uh, lubigoo on there um, but nice big wide hollow points 
and uh, very minimal def uh, defamations. I was gonna say defecations. <laughs> good condition, good condition. I would say another another slug sitting right around that eight out of 10 for condition. Pretty good, I'm, I'm happy with the way they're delivered. So let's have a look at the accuracy results that I got. Here we are, 25 meters NSA 25 cal, stacking them. No, no dramas at all there. Very happy with the way that they performed at 25 meters. It's, they're so small that they're difficult to measure. We're gonna go uh, center to center. We're looking at six millimeters on that one, maybe even five mil. So small that they're difficult to measure. So excellent at short range, very consistent, very precise, and um, happy to be punched hard at short range. So 1,000 feet per second at short range is uh, mint. Didn't, didn't really bother doing any more than that because um, usually at 25, I'll just zero the gun and then um, I'll, I'll mill it with my lovely element Titan over here and then wind it back on so we're pretty much good to go and then uh, step it out to 50 because uh, no one really cares about 25 meters when you're shooting slugs. Here we are, 50 meters. They opened up a little teensy weensy smidgen. Two through the same hole on this one though. Pretty impressed with that, that was good. We're looking at uh, under an inch on that one, 0.8. Same again, 0.75. Three quarters of an inch at 50 meters. Um, the conditions that I was shooting these ones in were pretty good for my place. There was the wind was sort of blowing away from me a little bit, then stopping, then turning around and coming back. So it was actually reasonably predictable, and I got fairly good results. Did a lot of shooting at 100 meters because uh, I was enjoying myself, and um, I was also, you know, I had the air to spare. It was uh, very economical to shoot these as far as air goes. In reasonably good conditions, off my wobbly little bench, I think. Uh, it's either this one or maybe this one that was the best. So at 100 meters, we're looking at, ooh, what an absolute ripper. Three quarters of an inch for those three rounds. Now, some people like to uh, set fires in the comments and say three rounds isn't a big enough group. Um, once I start shooting more than three rounds, we're really testing me and my ability to read the wind and uh, not quite so much testing the round. So we're here to test the round, not me. So this is, this is how I'm gonna do it. And uh, yeah, that, that's all there is to it. Like, I'm, I'm just not that competent, <laughs> you know, to be, to be stacking three quarter inch five round groups. Maybe I could, because I've done it a couple of times. So this is another one over here. We'll go outside edge to outside edge. And that is 0 0.4, 0 0.4 of an inch. What an absolute ripper of a group. And then, uh, you know, you start bringing in some of my wobbliness and my, uh, my mistakes and we've, we've blown it out to one and a half. And on some of these particularly windy groups, they do get blown around a little bit. Um, but overall, very good. We're, we're looking, I would say, average, average Joe with, uh, with a lightly modified rifle, um, even a standard rifle with the new M3s as they come out, you, you are easily going to be able to get sub MOA groups at 100 meters. It's not going to be difficult. So it's just, uh, it's fantastic ammo. It's very cheap compared to the rest of the market. Very consistent. And uh, I think all of the, uh, you, like this, this is what you're gonna be able to get with a little bit of extra time. Because you have to understand that I'm doing, you know, at the moment I've got five different ammo reviews on the, on the go at the moment. I don't have time to um to like do an ultra fine barrel harmonics tune, I can only sort of get what I've got with the time that I have, um, and I think I think in all honesty, if you are going to jump on the NSA train, that's what you're going to be looking at long term because you're going to buy you know if you if you're buying with a discount code on Air Rifle Slugs Australia, buy five boxes get get you know essentially getting free postage for your discount there, and yeah you're going to have heaps and heaps of uh, ammo to to fine tune and to get used to it and bed your gun in, get all the uh, NSA lead through your barrel so that everything's uniform. And yeah, you're gonna get excellent groups with it. It's really good ammo. So to wrap things up, really good. Really, really good. There's a lot of uh, new slug manufacturers on the market that have uh, really good products, but the amount of time that NSA has been doing this, they've just got an unfair advantage, quite frankly, because they've got such good quality ammo. It's so well priced and it's readily available now. So if you are thinking of dipping your toes in, if you've never used slugs before, if you don't want to go down the whole, you know, buy a gigantic power plant and buy a slug power kit, get different liners, get all this and that and the other, these shoot fine in the standard liner. They shoot really good. This is the standard superior liner that comes with the gun. 
There's no upgrade there, and they're shooting quite possibly the best group I've ever shot with this gun at 100 meters. For me, for me, that's outrageous. You know. <laughs> if you've watched my other, my other reviews, you, you look at that and you just think, wow, that's much better than he normally does. Especially for beginners. Beginners that aren't sure whether or not they want to modify their guns and get big power, or if you have a gun that um, doesn't make the same amount of power that a standard impact does, you're going to have a lot better time with, with lightweight NSA slugs than you are um, going for something like a, a really long, really heavy, ultra high BC long range slug. So not that NSA doesn't make those as well, we'll try them in the future, but uh, I'm very impressed with the 26.8s. Just everything about them is great. Get some today, that's my advice. Toodaloo.